All right, Lamar Aismo video, here we go. I'll probably be jumping from topic to topic because this is impromptu, but I wanted to, um, to discuss a couple of things. And um, primarily, um, one, one thing I want to say is um, I always make the claim that uh, I don't uh, hate whole groups of people, or even target whole groups. And I know uh, some people, uh, well, at least one individual said, well, I, I, I go after the tribe a lot, but um, that's um, more of a religious critique on top of just uh, current events. But um, there are some members of the tribe or, or former members of the tribe who are actually great people doing great things. Um, I was recently listening to an interview with Henry Mako. Uh, he's a Canadian uh, inventor of the board game uh, Scruples. And um, he's also the author of a few books. Uh, one of them, one of the ones I actually bought and uh, read was uh, Feminism in the New World Order. Cruel, I think it's a cruel hoax, Feminism in the New World Order. Another uh, member um, of uh, the uh, Judaic um, faith, I believe he's still uh, Jew Jewish by faith, is uh, Stephen Lemon, a, a very uh, courageous individual. Uh, I first encountered him on Press TV discussing, um, Press TV did a series called Money Trail, and on the episode where they discussed uh, the Bilderberg group, he uh, was very knowledgeable and informative and in, in the information he provided. I bought his book, one of his books, but um, I didn't gain a lot of traction uh, reading it because, um, well, for me, I'm speaking for myself, it, it was a lot of uh, minutia when it comes to um, economic uh, interests that I'll probably care more about uh, when, I'm, when I'm elderly because um, he talks a lot about health care in that book uh, for the elderly, especially elderly and other uh, poor and poor members of society and how uh, programs like Medicaid and Medicare could have been solved and Social Security could have worked out a lot better if we didn't have uh, the type of uh, individuals govern, governing us that we do. But um, so those are two individuals that I that I recommend. And as always, like any other um, two people that I or, or more that I may mention from time to time, I don't agree on everything with them, but, but I definitely agree on the major things. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of um, just the uh, Abrahamic religions uh, in general. I think um, they need a lot of work uh, as far as um, uh, their doctrine. Uh, some, some of the doctrine from each one of the Abrahamic faiths need to be um, named, shamed, and discarded. Then we could all move on, I think, with a, with a, with a better world. But that probably won't happen anytime soon because um, when people have this religious dogma they're attached to, it's, um, it's, a hard, uh, it's a hard sell trying to get them to admit that there's um, falsehoods or actually, in some cases, even evil within uh, certain texts that's just, you know, it's antithetical to uh, most religions to um, critique them, especially if you're a member or or, or, or supposed to be a member. But um, in, in, in the interview I just heard with uh, Henry Mackel, he brought up two points that I didn't realize. Um, Albert Pike uh, is a, you know, you know um, and he also mentioned this, and, and to, you know, he was saying that in the alternative media, the um, uh, the Hebrews are getting a lot of attention, but Freemasons don't. And I, and you know, I, I partially agree with that. There are some uh, individuals in the alternative media and in the quote unquote truth community that it's an either or proposition for them. They either always talking about the um, tribe or they're always talking about the Freemasons. But um, why not? Why not cover it all? At least that's what I try to do. Uh, and you know, I'm not very uh, deep into uh, content here on YouTube uh, because there, there's some individuals that have been on here for years. So, uh, you know, he, he, they're, they're right in a lot of cases. Um, the primary um, example in the, the truth, uh, the uh, truth or industrial complex instead of the actual truth movement is uh, Alex Jones. He, he dances around uh, mentioning the tribe, but, but recently uh, we talked about how he's uh, changed uh, somewhat recently where he actually will call them out. But that's that's um that's the cosmetic for him. He's just doing that because and and a, and a lot of the reason you're going to hear more and more uh mainstream alternative uh and and the uh, regular 
uh, televised and mass uh, distributed media, you're going to hear more criticism. I actually heard some tough talk, a little tough talk from CNN, uh, the likes of Don Lemon, you know. Uh, so it's becoming um, the crimes that Israel's committing and some of the things that are going on behind the scenes are becoming so grievous that they, it can't be ignored. And um, it's becoming so apparent that even the dumbest, um, I think one of my uh, subs one of my subscribers called uh, people uh, normies. That's a good word for the uh, masses. I, I I like the term middle masses because that's why I think most people spend uh, their life is is you know in in the in the middle, not being partisan um, uh, or or so partisan to um, uh, any in in a lot of cases um, they're partisan towards religions, but as far as a uh, political ideologies and philosophies, you don't meet many hardliners. Uh, you know I've I haven't run into a, a, a hardcore skeptic. There's a fake skeptic community here on YouTube that um, they're actually not skeptics. Their rhetoric is just uh, nonsense. But uh, Albert Pike actually, he said a lot of important things. One of them was that um, the um, Freemasonry is for the good of Judaism. And the higher up you get in there, you actually pledge oaths. Um, he also said, and this is important, that um, there would be three world wars. He told that an Italian revolutionary Mazzini this. And he said in the Third World War, it'll, it'll be between the supporters of Islam and the supporters of Zionism. So I found that interesting. That, and that's according to Henry Mako because I haven't come across that um, uh, quote. But another thing that I want to mention before I go uh, is uh, this whole, I learned a, 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 um, from Church Dog, there's this um, thing called the tension strategy where um, it's, it's what I talk about a lot of times where they try to pit us, uh, average people, no matter what. Um, against each other so they could they could continue to commit their crimes the they being the real new world order and the real people who are in, in power in the world um, I think I'll conclude here and the uh, I, I may uh, try to do another video tonight and this um, as we're speaking it's uh 29th of May 2018 so stay tuned I'll try to get some more videos out here thanks for watching see you in the future video